Formula One has undergone a complete transformation um, following the acquisition from Liberty Media in 2017. Prior to 2017, there had never been um, any marketing, uh, no marketing functions, no PR, no digital, no strategy. With the sort of uh, foundation and the forming of all of the kind of teams, we really sort of set about truly understanding who the fan is, what fandom is made up of, and actually how do we build and um, pivot the um, thinking and how sort of Formula One was perceived in the past to what we need to stand for today. So the way that we sort of go about that is really sort of identifying where our um, fans are today, uh, what they look like, and how can we sort of clearly reach more of them and get them excited. But importantly, what does that sort of future fan look like? And so we will often look to um, other sports, but also kind of other passion points through the lenses of uh, sort of fashion, TV drama, um, other, other sports, as I said, to really sort of re engage them in a way that they've never sort of um, had sort of Formula One show up before. Talking to, to them in a way that resonates, um, it's really sort of elevating the drivers, the sort of human um, connection. In the past, the sport had become perceived to be uh, very technical, quite processional, and they lacked that sort of human emotion. Um, and a sense of rivalry and actually the thing that um, fans absolutely love is a human connection with the driver. What is making that driver and team tick? Every fan wants to support a team or a sort of person and so the ability to, to make that human connection has been um, incredibly powerful.